834 right now. The month of September is known as Hawaiian History Month, and we're taking a moment to appreciate all the efforts and history of our islands. Dallas on Tavares joins us live from Iolani Palace with all the details. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine Ross. Yes, this is one of my favorite spots to go live from, the beautiful Iolani Palace. And here joining us on Take Two is our friend Zita Kapchoi, who is a historian here at Iolani Palace. Good morning, aloha. Good morning again. Thanks for joining us here on Take Two. Right now, we're right in front of the Coronation Pavilion, one of my favorite spots because it just makes me not only want to take pictures, but maybe slow dance with someone, have a nice breakfast or dinner. But that wasn't what this space was used for, huh? This Coronation Pavilion is the second incarnation of the Coronation Pavilion. Kili'i Ponihale was built to for Kalakaua's coronation in 1883. Oh. After the parties were over, it was moved to the area where it is now. Mm -hmm. 1919, the Coronation Pavilion, which was wood, was old, termite-ridden, wood rot. The territory replaced the wooden portion with cement and kept the original roof. So recently, Hawaii Tourism Authority gave us money to restore this Coronation Pavilion. Oh, that's wonderful. And you know what, speaking about funds, we're going to get into some information on how people could really give back so they could really keep Iolani Palace so beautiful. But I'm curious, are there any stories in our history that just doesn't get covered that you're not going to find in the history books? There are a lot of stories, and a lot of the stories that don't get covered in the history books are stories about parties, stories about people that you see in newspapers. One of the ones that really struck me is that there's a story about the difference between a dance and a ball. What's that? A ball is an event where kind of required attendance if you're a government official and you're supposed to wear your uniform and your wives are supposed to show up too. A dance is a private party. The men wear suits rather than uniforms. And the host, in this case the king, is invites whomever he wants. Oh. And this information showed up in the newspaper because a man went to the chamberlain to beg an invitation for a female friend who was not his wife. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and you know what's funny? You mentioned it, the parties and yeah. the after parties that really doesn't get covered. That's yeah. where probably a streaming service comes in handy, where they're able to cover all those hidden stories. But that's very interesting. Yeah. You know, I really want to wrap this up by just sharing some information on how people can donate to Ilani Palace because there's still a lot of improvements that need to be made to this sacred place and the surrounding areas, too. Uh, we have money from a government entity and from the state of Hawaii to repair our leaking roof. We also are working on developing more galleries in the basement and that's what we're going to be raising funds for with our November fundraiser. But we are always in need of funds for education programs and for restoration of artifacts and sometimes when we get an artifact that someone wants to give to us, we need to scramble to find money to ship it to Hawaii. Yeah. So information, there is a link on our website that allows you to donate, a link on our website that allows you to become a member of the Friends. Mm -hmm. I'd like to encourage all your viewers to sign up for our newsletter and that can be done on our website and that will keep them up to date on what we're doing and what kind of help we need and any special programs that we have. Um, two week, the last two weekends, the first two weekends rather of this month, the Hawaii Pono e Coalition did a play about Prince Kohil. And part of the play took place right here on this Coronation Pavilion and about who he was. And this all gets me really excited, viewers at home too, because like you said, there's so much left that needs to be released out to the public and to show, and of course, with great care. So Zita, thank you so much for your time, sharing a little bit of history with us and, you know, being here. We appreciate you. Mahalo. You're most welcome. Glad to, glad to be able to talk to you. Yes. And we'll have all this information on our website at KH12.com. Reporting here at Iolani Palace, Dallas and Rose, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Oh, I'm sure she has a lot of good stories. Yeah, she is adorable. I could listen to her all day. Mm -hmm. Coming up next in our Food to Go segment, we are taking Tasty Tuesday to Puck's Alley. That's right. We're sampling Italian fusion.